As the Amazon's dry season ends, shrinking rivers signal a change. For the arapaima, one of the world's largest freshwater fish, a biological clock ticks faster. It is time to prepare. They must build now before the rains arrive and transform their world. A bonded pair, often mated for life, begins the search. They patrol the muddy banks for a cradle of safety, a location that meets a precise set of criteria. The substrate must be just right, firm enough to hold its shape, yet soft enough to be carved by mouth and fin. Once the site is chosen, the real work begins. They sculpt with immense power and surprising delicacy using muscle, head and fin. A perfect basin emerges from the riverbed, precise and deliberate. The dimensions are critical, about 50 centimetres across and 15 deep, wide enough for the coming brood and shallow enough for the sun's warmth to penetrate the murky water. This is a shared craft. They work in shifts, one digs while the other defends. This vigilance is essential. In these crowded dry season pools, eyes are always watching. Cayman and Piranha are all potential threats. The final touches are a form of filtration. Coarse debris is carried away, leaving only fine, soft sediment. A breath of precious air, and then it's back to work. Their reliance on the surface makes them visible, a risk they must take. And then a change. The air cools. The scent of wet earth travels on the breeze. The first drops of rain arrive, turning the river's surface into a tapestry of spreading rings. As the downpour intensifies, the rivers begin to swell. This is the moment they have been waiting for. Timed perfectly with the rising water, the female deposits thousands of eggs into the waiting nest. The male immediately follows, fertilizing them. Their carefully constructed bowl disappears beneath the protective blanket of water. The male now takes primary guard duty. He stays constantly over the nest, fanning the eggs with his fins to keep them clean and oxygenated. Within days, new life gathers in the shallows. The tiny fry instinctively school around the male's dark, massive head, finding safety in his shadow. He provides their first meals, a nutritious secretion from glands on his head, and leads them to the surface for their first gulps of air. The flood has opened up a vast new world, but also new dangers. The parent's constant protection is the only thing standing between the vulnerable fry and a host of predators. For this ancient species, there is another pressure. Humans have long hunted the arapaima, but conservation efforts are helping to ensure their survival. It is a strategy born of this unique environment. A nest built in the hardship of drought to be saved and fulfilled by the coming of the rain.